When it comes to the rise of internet brands in South Africa, private property is most certainly one of the bigger players, but how did they get to where they are today? Now, Simon Bray, CEO of Private Property, takes us down memory lane this morning, you know, to tell us a bit about their interesting history and how they do it all. Simon, lovely to have you back in studio, man. Always a pleasure. Good to be here. You know what? A lot of people log on to private property. They browse the website. They find their dream homes. They buy it. They settle in. They go on about their lives. But I don't think a lot of people sit and think about, you know, where did it all come from? I mean, it's a business. It started somewhere. Take us back a little bit. Now, private property was actually one of the very first online marketplaces or websites of a kind in South Africa. Uh, you're talking uh, end of the 90s. It's, uh, I mean, it's the days of the cell phone that was still, uh, you know, pull out the aerial, <laughs> flip down the yeah. face. Uh, so this was long before digital cameras and social media networks and all the stuff that we've come uh, so used to. Uh, and private property started as a for sale by owner website, so you could sell your own property on the website. And then over a period of time, it's really grown into a comprehensive set of property listings from across South Africa. Uh, it's won, you know, awards for best website and design and UX over the years. And it's a, it's a really Cinderella story. I mean, it started with uh, our co-founder's uh, dream in his basement. Uh, and, and literally grew from there um, and it had franchises all over the country at one point in time and now is a nationally relevant website. So very exciting history, that, that whole journey. We're blessed to have had a lot of people come alongside us in that journey, uh, a lot of key stakeholders, great international investors, and they've really helped us grow the business into what it is today. Absolutely. So speaking about those key investors, I mean, that, that helped build the group, I mean, you guys have expanded beyond just property at the moment. Yeah, well, I mean, that's the exciting story, right? We, we sit on the tip of this great continent here in South Africa, and the rest of Africa is going through the same sort of uh, exciting growth uh, that we've seen in South Africa over the last 10, 15 years. So private property is actually part of the uh, One Africa Media Group, uh, and that's got the largest portfolio of online marketplaces, businesses anywhere in Africa. Uh, the market that we serve is up to 400 million Africans, so it's really exciting. Uh, mm -hmm. Websites in East Africa that, that deal with cars and jobs, uh, Cheki in, in Kenya and Brighter Monday in Kenya, uh, jobs in Nigeria. I mean, you're talking about 150 million people in Nigeria and, and a really uh, mm -hmm. big economy. So it's, it's exciting to be involved in a, in a bigger group like that. And there's a, a lot of opportunity to take what we've learned in South Africa and apply it in those new and, and exciting markets. Yeah. Well, it is very exciting to be able to break those borders like you guys are doing, but honing in on the South African internet market, I mean, how do you guys see your role in this market? Well, obviously our role has developed over the last few years to be specifically property related, to make sure that every single new listing that comes onto the market is there, uh, ready for you to view. Uh, you know, you can get on with your tablet or your smartphone and you can see exactly uh, what is on the market at any time. But um, in order to do that, it's been about how we do that. Uh, and I think the role that we've played and continue to play is this, this idea of innovation. So mm -hmm. we're always looking for new ways to present these properties, these listings, to make it more convenient for people when they're online. And that innovation journey is such an exciting one to be involved in in a business. You know, you, you're forever challenging the norm. You're looking for new ways to do things. Uh, and, and it's that creative energy that really drives us uh, back at the office. Absolutely. But I mean, it doesn't, there's something like this um, doesn't just happen overnight. It's, uh, there's a lot that goes into, you know, creating an advertising platform like this. I mean, just take us through some of the elements. What, what, what really comes down, what, what does it comes down to at the end of the day? No, absolutely. I mean, when, you, when people think of private property, they think of the website, right? They think of mm -hmm. thousands of listings and, uh, and it's just about how you navigate them. But there's so much more be beyond that. I think when people come to our offices, they're just amazed to see how many people are actually sitting behind that website. We've got technical teams that make sure that we can serve those millions of page views every month and the site doesn't fall over and that we can innovate those new features on a continual basis. We've got a sales force across the country uh, calling on estate agents, making sure that we've got the right relationships in place, ensuring that we've got the listings coming to the site because that's ultimately what people need to see. Uh, I mean, I'll give you an example, our call center, it just in a normal run-of-the-mill day is taking 200 inquiries and trying to help solve those on, on the basis uh, with our clients and with our consumers. So it's a full-time job, there's a lot of people, there's a is a great dynamic uh, group of people that really make private property mm. what it is. Absolutely incredible to see how it's grown from where it started to where it is today. On that note, what would be your tip of the day? 
I think if we're talking uh, not just property now, but uh, but life in general, you've got to keep reinventing yourself. Uh, this world is changing so rapidly that uh, you've got to keep innovating, you've got to keep looking for that next edge uh, to stay relevant and to stay ahead of the game. Simon, great advice. Thank you so much. Simon Bray, CEO of Private Property this morning. Keep reinventing yourself. Every great success story has a beginning. From humble beginnings to being one of South Africa's largest online property portals. Visit them www.privateproperty.co.za. Go out and find your dream home.